Hi, I'm Cher Pendarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow books and the Artist Tablet books. In this video, Getting to Know Brushes, we will discuss the brush selector, additional brush libraries, brush tracking, and more. On screen is a version of my painting Agave Meadow, which I painted with a variety of chalk, pastels, and a grainy water blender. In the upper left of the screen, you'll see the brush selector. The real 2B pencil is currently chosen. Click the arrow to open the brush selector and painter brush library. Right at the very top, you'll see brush library. Right now, painter 2019 brushes is chosen. And if we click the pop-up menu here, you see other brush libraries that can be loaded. We're going to leave this at Painter 2019 brushes for now. You see recent brushes right here. We have pens and pencils, real 2B variant chosen. On the left we have the categories. On the right we have the variants. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to scroll up and choose chalk, pastel, and crayons and the chunky soft pastel brush. I'm going to click again to open the brush selector and follow my cursor across this bar right here. You see these little horizontal bars right here. Click and we open the drop down menu and we have copy variant, save variant, set default variant, new brush category, another option to access the various brush libraries, find more brushes online, restore purchases, import a brush, category brush library, new for Photoshop brush stamps, ABR, export, brush category or brush library. And these are the items that we have showing right now. You see the check marks to the left. Show brush library selector, show recent brushes, show brush pack promotions, show dab and stroke preview which you see down at the bottom of the brush selector right here. And then category display, show categories as icons or show categories as list, show all categories. Variant display, variants as icons, variants as list, show all variants, restore default variant and restore all default variants. And again, on the very bottom we have a mark showing the dab and then we have a brush stroke preview. And some of the items that you have here are also available underneath the brushes menu up here. In the brush selector, I've chosen the chalk pastel and crayons and the chunky soft pastel. Let's have a look at the property bar settings. The first icon that you have right here is reset tool, which allows us to reset the tool to its defaults. The next is freehand strokes, which we will use with our freehand work. If you want to draw straight lines, choose the straight line strokes right here. The circular icon is the brush size icon and you can change the size by using the slider like so or you could type in a numerical value the next circular icon that you see is the opacity and much like the other you can adjust it using the slider or you could type in a numerical value. The following icon allows us to access the paper textures directly from the property bar. Right now basic paper is chosen and this particular brush uses the paper at 100%. We can also change this and make it less prominent. And then we have resaturation. Resaturation is the flow of the media or color through the brush. And right now it's set at 37% for this particular brush. And the next item that we have here is bleed and it's set to 59%. And when you have settings like this, we won't see the brush painting with a hundred percent of the color chosen. Instead it's going to paint with a little bit of color and it's also going to smear existing color that you already have painted on the canvas. 
Next, we're going to have a look at brush tracking. With brush tracking, you can customize how Painter interprets the input of your stylus, including parameters such as pressure and speed. I'm going to go up to the Corel Painter 2019 menu and come down here to Preferences. And then down near the bottom of the Preferences pop-out menu, you see Brush Tracking. Now that we have Brush Tracking dialog up, I'm going to grab my stylus. We're going to make a mark, a representative brush stroke in the field, and you see the curve change right here. You can type in numerical amount or adjust the sliders, but in my opinion, the most accurate and the easiest way to get a representative brush stroke for your hand is to actually paint a stroke in the scratch pad. Before I click OK to accept, I wanted to mention one more thing. You can choose Apply to Current Brush Variant, but I prefer to have the expression of my hand apply to all the brushes that I might choose doing a work session. You can also save presets up here by choosing the plus to add one, or you can remove one by choosing the minus to delete. I'm going to click OK to accept. With this blue, I'm going to make a mark on my image so that you can see the beautiful chunky soft pastel. I want to bring up a new image right now and I'm going to use the painter default. Make a stroke with this brush. Choose another color over here. Make another stroke. You can see how this brush, you know, when I scrub back and forth, it allows me to lay down color and to blend and smear color. I'm going to choose another brush, the sharp chalk. This one has a different type of personality. I'm going to choose a blue from the color wheel. It allows me to draw thick and thin chalk strokes. Now I'd like to scroll up here and choose another category, the acrylics and gouache. With the opaque acrylic, you can make opaque strokes and lay opaque color over color and it's a very versatile fun brush. Good coverage, good for blocking in areas of color quickly. And then finally I'd like to show an oils brush, actually a couple oils brushes. The medium bristle oils which is a very versatile brush nice brush texture and then the fine soft brush which is very much like an oil brush that allows you to build up color and shading and modeling an expressive brush. We'll be exploring more painting with more brushes in future videos. Enjoy Painter and happy painting! Mm -hmm.